All right, in this box, we have a new 48 volt, 50 amp hour battery from DC House. Let's open it up. All right, looks like we've got a manual. We have our M8 terminal bolts and some terminal covers. And we have a battery display here. Okay, and then we've got the cable that goes to the display unit. All right, and there's the battery. So it's in this metal casing here. It has some mounting brackets welded to it. Very nice. Uh, has some recessed handles here. Here's our battery terminals, positive, negative, and this looks like the port where we connect the display module. Okay, so looking on the side here, we have some specs. Obviously our rated capacity is 50 amp hours, 2,560 watt hours. We can do a maximum continuous charge current at 100 amps. We can do a maximum continuous discharge current at 100 amps. And let's go ahead and weigh this. And we are weighing 58.8 pounds. And I also do see that we have screws here. So that's gonna make it easy for us to get into and take a look at the guts. Let's go ahead and hook up the display unit and see what we get. Let's see, do we have to push this button here? There we go. There we go. Very neat. So I have seen this kind of display before, actually. So we should have a touch screen. Yeah, there's page two. And then page three shows us our cell level voltages. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and charge this guy up. All right, the charger's wired into the battery. Let's go ahead and plug the charger into the AC output over here. All right, we are now charging. Uh, the display is showing that we are putting in 9.75 amps, almost 10 amps now. And uh, we are charging. It's saying that it's going to take about 2 hours and 22 minutes. So we'll just let that fully charge. All right, guys. Uh, so we have charged all the way up to 100%. And now we're gonna do a capacity test. So I've got my shunt hooked up. Let's go ahead and turn the inverter on. And then we'll turn the air conditioner on. Okay. And that is showing that we're pulling 800 watts here. About 16 amps. Yeah, so we're showing 16 amps on the display here as well. So, going to be about three hours. All right, so we'll just let it continue on and I'll be back. All right, we got 1% left here. And a little under one amp hour to go. So getting extremely close. And this thing over here is saying, recharge the battery. <laughs> looking at our individual cell voltages, uh, still looking really good. 3.1 volts, still good. So, yeah, we should be able to hit the full capacity on this guy all right so it's saying we're down to zero percent we still have 0.25 amp hours to go all right 
So here we go. We're about to hit full capacity. Bam. We have discharged a full 50 amp hours, which is the rated capacity of this battery. So it definitely does pass the capacity test. Very good. All right, so I've got all the screws removed from around the sides. So let's open it up. All right, so it has a fiber board on the top here. Let's go ahead and remove that. And there's the top of the cells. The build quality looks pretty good. Looks like this fish paper stuff shifted like it's supposed to be under this right here, but now it's kind of moved over. Not sure if it's just held by friction or maybe there's some sticky on it. Um, so we've got the BMS here. Yeah, it looks like we've got one, two, three, and four temperature sensors. But all the wiring seems to be routed pretty well. Um, there's these little plastic caps on top of the bus bars. That's pretty neat. We do have uh, high temperature silicone jacketed wire, 8 gauge, double 8 gauge. Let's see if we can move this little bar over here and get a better look at the QR codes. All right, so I've got it moved over and we can see the codes better. Let's try to get a scan. Yeah, the scanner's not picking anything up. So there's a picture of it. Not sure if anyone's familiar with these cells. OIJCBA344511. All right, so <laughs> I've actually already filmed this once, but my camera messed up the video or something, so I'm gonna have to do it again. Uh, so let's test the low temperature protection. Uh, like I said, I've already done it once. And it turns out that this sensor right here is the one that's sensitive to it. So I've got the charger already on. It's charging. And uh, I'm going to freeze that one sensor up and we'll see it stop charging. There we go. So now it went into standby mode. We're not putting any more current in. See here. Now we're already back to normal status. So, yeah, it does seem to have a low temperature charging protection. All right, guys. So I think that's going to wrap this video up. Uh, let me know what you think about this battery down in the comments. As always, I'll leave links in the description. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.